full, full participant. Um, will he be repeating the vote tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. Just how good is that to know that he's at least he's there? Close. He's, yeah, yeah. Making progress. It's very encouraging. You know, um, you look great out there today. Uh, reminder of how dynamic he is as a basketball player and how good we're going to be when we get fully healthy. Um, do you like this format of the losing teams play each other after the after the quarterfinals, or does that mean anything to me? I really don't have an opinion on. You know, I mean, they, it's a new thing, and they gotta they gotta figure out how to just get everybody even amount of games. You know, and um, you know, obviously, if, if, if it's still tournament play, technically, you know, they're the higher seed, but even and out the home games, so so you know, there's there's a fairness level to it. I think is important, and they did has done a great job. You know, just organizing the whole thing. Coach, with with Brad, what are maybe the final steps that you need? To we want to see him, um, you know, uh, stack together a few a few practices where he responds well. For so, no, no, no timeline on how many that is or what, what that looks like. But um, we want to continue to, you know, just make sure that he's responded well before we put him back in there. We'll stay away from the, 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 the in out in now that we saw earlier. How's Kevin's ankle? Kevin's out tomorrow. Um, yeah, sprained ankle. Is it? Did you realize how? I mean, he was playing through it. I could see him limping. No, but he was limited. Yeah, we were contemplating taking him out. You know, because uh, he wasn't really moving that, that great. Um, you know, but we've had to finish two games in the last two weeks with a guy trying to tough through a you know an ankle sprain. You know, not at full strength. And, you, know, you credit him for, for being in there and made some big shots late, even even on the the, the bum ankle. So you know, the guy's uh, the guy's really tough. Man. The only two that'll be out tomorrow. Grayson Allen's out. Okay. Yeah, uh, going strength. Yep. That happened during the game. Yep. Wow. Frank, does it seem like whenever you get close to getting one guy back, something else happens and you'll still be shorthanded? You can't worry about what you can't control. You know, I think we're as encouraging thing as me is I feel like we're close to seeing what our group looks like at full strength. You know, that's what I'm focused on. In terms of things you can control, when you look at the turnovers, does it feel like a lot of those were self-inflicted? I know over the last couple of games before that one, you guys have done a pretty good job of cutting down on it some of those. Yeah, we keep, you know, we're, we're studying it, you know, and a lot of a lot of practice was, uh, you know, to help us keep our turnovers low. But, uh, not, not to get into too, too many details, but, you know, just uh, there was a heavy emphasis in practice today. With the pace, I know coming in, you guys have talked about wanting to play at a fast pace. How would you assess that area of the game so far? We're, we're more opportunistic. I mean, it's just you got to play to your team's strengths. You know, um, you know, we're one of the best offenses in the league playing at the pace we're at right now. I don't want to wind us up to, you know, to try to play too fast and that leads to more turnovers than we're already having. You know, I mean, if, we're, if our turnover rate is middle of the pack, not bottom five, then we're the best offense in the league. You know, so you know, we have to concentrate more on you know, our, our, our execution and our spacing and our ball security you know, more than trying to ramp up our pace. What have you thought about uh, Grayson and Eric as second side careers and the way they're able to impact the game and I guess make it easier for Katie and Bo? Two, two of the best in the business. And uh, I don't know where we'd be without those two guys. You know, those guys, you know, obviously they have the ability to, you know, to make plays with the basketball and set, set guys like Kevin and, and Brad and, and, and Book up. Uh, but as backside spacers, you know, you can great catch and shoot players that can put the ball on the floor and make high IQ plays you know, uh, you know, when they're attacking with the bounce as well. Being close to full strength, you said, is that more, is Kevin and Grayson's injury more like a short term? Sometime thing? before the playoffs, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, yeah, I, I, I believe both are, are short term. Um, you know, not, not putting a, a, a number on it past this game, they'll be out this game. And then uh, we'll see where we're at next week. The, uh, the, uh, I think there was a lot of surprise for fans seeing that that play wasn't reviewable, the, the timeout wasn't reviewable at the end of the game. Are there a num like how many other instances are there of things that aren't reviewable with the? I mean, do you, do you have to go to the league and go back and forth and make sure things are reviewable, especially controversial plays? No, I'm I'm pretty familiar with what the rules are. You know. <laughs> it, I guess. I guess. With why is it everything we do? I know you want to smoke right at the other night, but 
Um, you know, that's a question for the league. Coach, how weird is it for you just to go from like the high intensity games uh, not really. You know, um, you know, obviously the, you know, there is a playoff intensity to the in-season tournament games, but you know, quite frankly, we want our guys playing at that intensity every night. And if anybody's seen the Sacramento Kings play, we know there's going to be a high-intensity game there. The team plays extremely fast, extremely hard, and we're going to have to play well to beat. As a coach, when you, you pay any attention or put any stock in the last two minutes, or more, is that what nope. I mean, I, 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 I'm one of the few people that likes that they do it because they, I, I do think they're genuine and try to get things right. Um, you know, and it's, it's always good to just lend some context to things, uh, but it doesn't change anything. But I, I'm not, I'm not like a hater on it. Like a lot of league is like, oh, rip that, that don't mean crap. You know? um, the league does a good job trying to get things right, so credit them. Coach, just looking at Sacramento. I don't always agree with them. <laughs> Coach, when you look at Sacramento and De'Aaron Fox, how has he grown the most as a, a guy that went from yeah. to push it to being able to I've been to a fan of De'Aaron Fox, the Kentucky guy, right. since he came out of the draft, and they were dra drafting uh, you know, some other guys ahead of him that, that year. Um, I felt like that guy was going to be a star. We were one pick away from picking him and, and getting him in, in Orlando. Right, we were one pick away from uh, being able to choose him. Um, and I knew he was going to be a star, and boy, he's really the last couple of years has really, really just uh, exploded onto the scene. And um, as tough as anybody, to slow down. After I slept, I thought it was the best officiating game in the season. Just officiating the game of the season. For sure. After I slept, and just think about that, <laughs> that was the best officiating probably in my career too. Last play you said was the whole game. Just the whole game in general. What makes you say that? After that fell asleep, you know, the night of sleep helped me to realize that, was a, that we was wrong, man. And that was right. I feel just so silly as I'm getting That's That's advanced to the, to, to, to the Sacramento game, which leads me to ask you, what did you think about the format of if you lose the quarterfinals? You play the opposite team. I mean, we just want to as many games as we could. As, you know, we're in a phase to get healthy. And hopefully we can Brad, you know, get back Brad sooner or later. And we just need the games, man. We have, you know, people in and out line up whole year. And to build consistency, to build the chemistry, to build the team that we believe we have a great, you know, team in the league. Oh, you know, we believe we have the best team in the league as far as, you know, not, you know, people on the names and stuff. By the end of the day, we just need the games. You know, the practice is good, but we, you know, we take any game we can to prepare and get better. So, I think that's a good for us. What have you seen Brad do late that makes you feel like okay, he's, he's about there or he's getting close to there? I play against Brad a lot of time, and when you see him, you know, just the he, his breaks and speed is just something that a lot of players don't you don't see there as much. Like these one, you know, one dribble stops. That shit like. It's a 2K game, man. Like, <laughs> feels like, you know. I, I, anyway, I don't see in a lot of players that like that the, the fast and stop game that he have, and the pull ups, and, and you know, obviously it's a big time player. So we 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 can't wait to get him back. You guys have gotten the turnovers down the last handful of games. The LA game was a tough one. What did you see in terms of the turnovers? Did it feel like they were kind of self inflicted for the most part? I mean, it just it have to mean more to us. Like, just to, you know, I know, like I said, a lot of times I put myself in a position, whatever reason is, to have a foul and, and, you know, kind of hurt my team, you know, with the rebound and offensive rebound deep, whatever it is, I have to find a way through the up and down to stay on the court, and I will. So, regardless what I'm battling, I have to, I have to be better to that. And, you know, I understand the, the big reason why I'm here is to, you know, it's a rebound to the ball, so, and I feel bad sometimes that, that, that we in that spot and we necessarily shouldn't be there. Uh, so what ways have you seen Grayson kind of impact the offense for you guys in the half court, specifically like making it easier for you guys to operate because of the space he provides? I mean, he's a big time player, like for us, especially like I was not as familiar with his game <laughs> uh, since, you know, he was in the East a lot of time and, and didn't see him as many games. 
But he can dribble the ball, he can shoot the ball very well. Um, and he can, you know, he, he tried to defend, you know, as, as best he can. So I think for us, it's just another ball handler who can, uh, you know, just run the space and, and kind of run our offense with the, with the fast break too, but the half court too. It's really helpful to have that second side. Like, you know, if, if the defense kind of clogs up the book and you pick and roll, like, to have that second side creator over there. Uh, we'll never find out until we're healthy, man. Yeah. <laughs> we'll never find out that. You know, at this point, you know, I, as a player, I know how hard it is to, you know, in and out lineups all year with us and, and not getting the, you know, reps with the, with the people who we believe that, that they're going to be, you know, major rotations. And But it's NBA, next man step up. And that's, you know, basically what was, you know, this 20 some games or whatever it is, mentality was. We're talking about being guys out, you're the only guy who's. Been in. Yeah, they thought I was the only could be out, right? <laughs> Shit. I mean, that's the thing. People don't know. You don't know what you don't know. And, and, and being just a fan, it's it's cool. But you know, betting is probably the fan getting in trouble. <laughs> and they really upset about something. But you know, my goal, like I said, I want to play all games, you know, as as possible. And you know, some nights, some even more so than that. But you know, I just want to be out there and, and help contribute to the win. Yeah, you know, uh, playing through a little injury still still bothers and irritates me some, but, uh, you know, I just got to continue to grind through and uh, uh, just keep, just continue to put through the ground through the season. Have you guys, the way the game ended, you know, with that 24, 48 hour, you got, you got to that system, you know, what would do it or is it still bothersome how the game ended that way? Well, it definitely bothers you because we wanted to be in the playing tournament. We wanted to go to Vegas to see, but uh, because that was a very meaningful game, and uh, we needed, you know, to be a part of that. And uh, you know, the game just didn't go the way we wanted to. Uh, to me, we just we beat ourselves. You know, we didn't we turned over the ball, uh, didn't rebound as well, and, and uh, so that's a recipe to, to hurt yourself. So that's uh, that was the name of the game. How do you? And then the turnover part, is that just a matter of being more um, certain of what you're going to do, or is it more of slowing it down? I'm just curious, how do you combat and not have that situation? Yeah, um, you know, it's just having a, you know, a good balance of when to be aggressive, when not to. You know, we, we force a lot, and uh, we just got to we gotta play our game, play at our pace, and uh, we just got to... You know, we haven't been playing the way that we really wanted to, especially last game. So uh, I think once once we have that, with, without no hesitation, we'll, we'll be better. In terms of the pace, is playing faster something that you guys? I know coming into the season, you guys have wanted to do that, but pace hasn't always been there this year. Yeah, because I feel like if you play faster, and you know, it's almost like you're playing the defense has to play in the transition game, and. Because every team in, in the NBA, half court defense, they're going to be pretty good. And if you get teams to transition, I mean, we should have we have a good enough team to where we can almost get a good shot down the court. We shouldn't be shooting like a lot of contested shots all the time with all the good playmakers we have. We just need to be out there uh, moving the ball, trying to get the best shot available. And uh, sometimes we don't do that. As a player, when there's a kind of controversial call late in the game, do you put any stock in like when the last two minutes report comes out? Or no, because, <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of blatant stuff that happens out there. So, I, you know, all I know is we lost. I can't look at the past because, I mean, a lot of this stuff is obvious. And uh, you just got to move forward. But I would say the main part of the game is we didn't, we didn't really come to play. We didn't play our game. Eric, when you say that sometimes you guys don't move the ball as well as you should, why, why do you think that is sometimes? Uh, it's just stagnant because chemistry is is with, is how do you get everybody involved. We got we got a lot of good players, a lot of good shooters, and uh, of course we're the season's still pretty early. But if we want to be where we want to be, we got to the chemistry on offense has to really be great and uh, on both ends of the floor. And, and uh, we've had strides, and I think during the winning streak, we were moving the ball. We were, we almost looked like almost an unstoppable team all the time. Uh, a lot of points in that last, throughout the last ten games. So uh, we just need to get back to it. You felt on those sets uh, when they put you one pass away. You and Grayson one pass away from both the KD and running action. Do you feel like that's making life easier for them? Just more driving lanes, and you're being a second side creator there. Well, it should because we're both shooting the ball pretty well, and uh, and. You know, 
you just got to read and react. If they help off of, uh, of us, then it's, we're, we should be ready to prepare to knock the shot down. And, uh, and the same goes, because we, we, we're, we're really, when we're starting, we're, we're, we're trying to open up the floor for those guys. And uh, so it's really on those guys to make the, the right play and uh, for us to be ready. You feel like Book is, I'm uh, oh, sorry, well, you feel like Book has really taken that next step in terms of reading how they're defending and either getting off of it early or just kind of, I guess, reading the defense in general. Yeah, like early on this, so far, he's been doing very well. And uh, of course, he's been in all, all year, but he's doing he's doing good. And uh, But I'm just saying as a team, as a whole, you know, we could be better. You know, everybody could be better. And, uh, and you know, that's what I look forward to because, I mean, there's, I mean, tell me, I mean, there's no reason why we can't be best offensive team out there. I mean, until we are, there's nothing, there's nothing that shouldn't slow us down. How would you rate the spacing overall this year, considering with you and Gerson, that has, has it been what you thought it would be? Could it be better? How, how would you rate it overall? Um, like I said, offense, we can, we can still be better. Until we're the number one offense, we, we, we still have a lot of room for improvement. And uh, like I said, we've been shooting the ball pretty well. And, uh, and uh, you know, that's what we're here for. Is we use our experience, use our floor, the space of floor for our playmakers and, and try to, you know, make it difficult for the other team. Is that a constant when you all are constantly moving? They're moving or is it like, like I'm here in my spot? Finally. It's kind of tough because it's it's kind of read and react when they drive. Maybe you know, maybe in the corner we stay there, or maybe well, when we're on the wing we got to move a little bit. It's just kind of so it's always a read and react type thing. What does it say about the fight of this team? You guys had 20 turnovers on Tuesday, and 20, they had shot 27 more times than you, yet you were in it until the very end. So what does that say about this team? Shows how good we we can be when we do things. Uh, with force and 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 play the right way and uh, I mean like I said there's a sky's the limit for this team and everybody knows that and uh, we just gotta get back to playing high level basketball. Kevin was saying after the game that you guys are seeing all kind of defenses almost like it's a playoff situation because you do you agree with that and how, how are you seeing that in terms of what you Yeah seeing? we've seen just about everything teams you know trapping teams loading uh, we're gonna see stuff like that every 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 game and, uh, and it's always something different uh, so it's good that we are getting used to that now and hopefully down the line we just get better and better to adapt in it and uh, uh, that's what this game is about just adapting and, and like I said we have the team to do it.